Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the top three most important Excel functions. Here we have the first one here, that is the sum function. And before we can use the sum function, we need to understand this table. This table has three columns. We have the first column, that is the phone brands. We have the second column, quantity ordered. And we have the third column, year purchased so if you take a particular phone brand for instance here we have samsung the quantity ordered here was 300 and the year was 2019 you take another phone brand here we have apple the quantity ordered here you have 50 and the year that this quantity was ordered here is 2020 and this follows till you get to the last phone brand which is apple and the quantity ordered here is 300 and the year here you have 2020 now for us to use this sum we need to ask ourselves what do you, do you want to find the sum of okay we want to find the sum of all the quantity ordered of all the phone brands now we are not actually selecting each phone brand we are actually getting the sum of all the quantity ordered of all the phone brands so for us to get the sum of all these numbers here we make use of the sum function now how do you make use of the sum function now let's start let's click on this particular cell so the first thing is for us to type the equality sign you have equals to then you write the name of the function sum and you open your parenthesis now if you look under you see number one so you enter the first number but since we are actually going to add everything here in this particular column so you click on the first number you can highlight it till you get to the last which is 300 so you highlight it to the last number that is 300 and you close the parenthesis then you click enter on your keyboard so you have 1,576. So this will give you the sum of all the quantities ordered of every product you have here. Now you can as well find the sum of two numbers. Let's assume you want to find the sum of 350. So let's make use of this cell. You simply type in equals to. Then you write the sum function, sum. Open your parenthesis, type in the first number, 300, comma, the second number that you want to add, 50. You can add even the third number if you want, 100, comma again before 100. Then what again? You close your parenthesis. Then you click enter. What do you have here? 450. So that is the sum of 300, 50, and 100. Now that is how to use a sum function. You simply type the name of the function, but make sure that you have the equality sign there. You type the name of the function and you type in the number that you want to find the sum. Now let's go to the second function. Meanwhile, this sum function is very limited. What if I want to find the sum of only the Samsung brand? I don't want to add everything here. I just want to add the sum of anywhere we have Samsung. You add the sum of the quantity ordered. I want to add 300, 200, 100, and 176. I don't want to add everything. Just those ones that I've selected. How do you go about it? This time around, you make use of another function called a sum if. So we have from sum, you get to sum if, and this is our second function sum if now like i said you want to find the sum of this a selected a particular selected phone brand so what you need to do is you start with equality sign then you type the name of the function sum if open have your parenthesis opened then here you see range what is the range 
the range simply means where you are selecting what you need from the column that you are selecting what do you want to find you want to find the sum of all the samsung right now what column are you selecting the samsung from is this phone brands column so that becomes your range you select it from the end from the beginning to the end now comma what you have is the second one here if you look under you're going to see criteria criteria is simply means the actual brand that you want here is samsung so you can type in samsung you use double quote you type in samsung then you close the code then you have comma again then you have the third parameter here is some range what do you want to find the sum what are you actually summing up you are summing up quantity order right so you select you go to the column you select the first number that you want to sum it up then you go all the way to the last number right now you close your parenthesis you click enter you have 776 now we can check you can use some function to check how do you check let's go over here we have equals to let's select the samsung quantity ordered only the samsung and add it up it should give us 776 so let's write the sum function open parenthesis here we have samsung i have that is 300 or let me just type in 300 300 comma go to the next time we have samsung we have samsung here 200 we have 200 comma where do we have samsung again we have samsung 100 comma where do you have samsung again we have samsung 176 176 you close your parenthesis and you click enter here we have 776 so now that we have used the sum function to confirm that what we got here was actually very correct but you cannot be using some function because you might have thousands of rules you cannot be selecting it it will be too much for you so that is why we make use of some if function but right now what if i want to also now that we have done for samsung here we have samsung like what we have done before what if i want to type in another phone brand maybe apple i want to find the sum of quantity ordered in apple then or we can consider fifo brand how you go about it so there's a method there's what i want to like i want to show you all now it's still the same protocol that process that we're going to use but this one is more um nice and it makes more sense so let's go about it so what you need to do is you can create a particular column for phone brand so let's have this column for phone brand phone brand then let's have another column for sum of quantity ordered sum of quantity ordered right so let me extend this so we have phone brands sum of quantity ordered that means if i select a particular phone brand here i want i would like to see the sum of quantity ordered in that sense you can select any of these phone brands here it will give you the sum of quantity order now let's start with the first one here we have samsung i have samsung here now here we are we are going to put our formula here so record the formula we have equals to sum if right then what do you have you open your parenthesis range remember the range then you highlight it you go to what else criteria criteria is all our criteria will, will come from this particular cell so i'm clicking this cell do you understand i'm clicking this cell then some range the sum range is this quantity ordered i select it and i close my parenthesis and i click enter recall we still have 776 
But this time around, if I put in another phone brand here, like Apple, and click enter, it will give me another sum of quantity order. Look at what, look at it, we have 700. So any phone brand that you type in here, the sum of quantity ordered will change. So that means since we have selected this particular cell as the criteria, any phone brand you type in here, it will give you the sum. So that's how to use some if function. I believe you have gotten something here. Now let's go to the third function that I would like to introduce you to. And the third function is very, very important. It is called the sum ifs. The sum ifs function. Now, when do we use sum ifs function? Let's assume from our sum if we made use of, we were able to add up quantity or that of a particular phone brand, right? Now, what if you want to find the quantity or that of a particular phone brand in a particular year? Maybe I want to find the quantity ordered, the quantity of Samsung ordered in the year 2019. I don't want you to add the one of 2020, only 2019. How do you go about it? Now we have two different criteria. The first one will be quantity ordered. The first one will actually be the name, the, the phone brand. And the second criteria will be the year because I need a particular phone brand and I need the year also. I don't need all the years, I need only for a particular year. So that's when you make use of these some ifs because you have many criteria. You don't have a single criteria. Now, how do we go about it? It's, all, it's almost the same, but there's a slight change. So there are some slight changes. Now let's type in our equality sign. As, re as usual, you have your some ifs, then you open your parentheses. Look at what we have here. We have some range. If you look at where we have this some range here is actually different from where we had the sum range in some if. In some if, the sum range came in last. It was last, but here the sum range is actually first. So you take note of that. So the sum range, you go to where you have the sum range here. You select to the last, comma, criteria range. The first criteria range. The first criteria range is we want to select a particular phone brand here, right? So you select it. The criteria itself, the criteria. So you have your criteria here, Samsung. Let's make use of Samsung first. So you put it in quote, Samsung. Now that is the first set of criteria. Now let's consider the other criteria. Look at here, if you look under here, you have criteria range two. The second criteria, where are you getting it from? You are getting your second criteria, the column that has the second criteria, which is year purchased. You select everything. Have you seen it, comma? Then what again? You now have the criteria two. What year? Do you want to have the sum of quantity ordered of Samsung? What year? Let's assume I need some, the sum of quantity ordered of Samsung in the year we have 20, let, let's use 2020. So I will put 2020 in quote, 2020. Then I closed my parentheses. I click enter. We have 200. Now let's check. That means I want to sum up the quantity ordered of Samsung in the year 2020. We can use our sum function to check. We have equals to sum. Open your parentheses. 2020. This is Samsung 2019. We are not going to use it. Samsung 2020. Okay. That's okay. So let's put in 200. Now, what again? Do we have Samsung 2020 again? This is Samsung 2019. This is Samsung 2019. So we don't have any Samsung 2020 again. So it's only um, 
one year that we had Samsung 2020. So we enter, we still have 200. Have you seen it? So this actually gave us the sum of Samsung in a particular year. Now, let's do, do exactly like what we did before. In, in that sense, we can select each particular phone brand and the year and it will give us this quantity order, the sum of quantity order. Let's do that. So I can actually remove this. I can remove this. So that means I'm going to have a column here. Let this column be for phone brands, right? Phone brands. So I will select phone brands. Let this column be for year purchased. I will select and rack criteria year purchased right so if i select a particular phone brand i will select a particular year purchased then i need to have sum of quantity ordered of that particular phone brand sum of quantity ordered sorry ordered have you seen it so Let's take Samsung for instance. If I take in Samsung here, year purchased. Let the year purchase, let's take a particular year for instance. Let's take 2000. And what did we take? We used 2020 before. So let's consider that same 2020. Have you seen it? Now, this is what we Excel will provide us here. Will provide us the sum of quantity ordered. So we need to put in our formula here. So you have equals to some ifs. Have you seen it? You open your parentheses. Some range. You go to what do you want to add up? The column is quantity ordered, right? Comma. Criteria range. Where are you selecting your criteria from? The first criteria. Here, phone brands. You select it up. Comma. Criteria. The first criteria here, look at it here. This is where we are going to be putting our first criteria. In this case, is Samsung. You select it, comma. Now the criteria range two, the second criteria. Where are you getting from? Here, here purchased. You select everything, comma. And the criteria. So here we are selecting 2020. So I click on this particular cell, 2020. I close my parenthesis. I click enter. We have 200. So in this case, if I change the name of this phone brand, let's write Apple. Let's use Apple. Apple. Then let's change the year to 20. How many times? 2020. Have you seen it? We have 500. So Apple 2020, sum of quantity order is 500. Let's check. Apple 20, you have 300, this is 2020. Apple, where do we have Apple again? Apple, this is 200, this is 2023, no. Apple, this is 50, this is 2020, that is 350. Which other time do we have Apple again? So we have Apple again, 150, 2020. That is 150 plus 50 plus 300, it will give you 500. Now let's consider Samsung in 2019. Let's type in here. Samsung, let's change the year to 2019. It will sum up. If you click enter, you have 576. Now let's check Samsung 2019. We can use our sum function. Samsung 2019, the first one is 300. Have you seen it? Comma. Samsung 2019, let's go to here. We have 2019. Samsung 100. Comma. Here you have 2019 again, that is Samsung, Samsung 2019, Enter. You have 576. So, with the help of all these functions, you're able to navigate and do whatever you want to do. So, that is it for the video. Thank you and goodbye.